Hi guys, just another quick tutorial. I uh, just wanted to show you something that's perhaps not immediately obvious when you're trying to create um, an object animating along a curve, or should I say two objects animating along a curve. Um, let's say you want to extrude uh, along a curve, but you also want to have a sphere or a head or whatever at the front of that curve also, following the very end of that extrude along the curve. Um, the reason you can't parent a sphere to that uh, extruding object is because it is constantly creating new geometry so you can't grab a CV and it will still be the same CV to parent to or indeed uh, a dynamic constraint. Um, what you'd do is just try and match them up together um, in the graph header but that's not always as straightforward as you think and you could be there for ages putting lots of in-between keys to, to get it to work so I'll just show you something very important that you need to tick to make this work so yep yeah, we'll just create a CV curve I'm gonna create <coughs> a nerve circle now and I'm just gonna rotate that 90 degrees Z and I'm gonna put it at the end of my curve holding down C we can snap to curve get it to the beginning of our curve should I say <coughs> and that's ready to extrude along so we'll select the circle uh, select the nerve circle select the CV curve curve make sure we're in surfaces tab um, and we go to the extrude options box and we need to make sure the tube is selected at profile closest endpoint and path direction um, mine is can be in polygons you can select nerves if you wish and most importantly we need partial to be selected here because that is going to enable us to, to animate um, the history as it were of the extrude I'm just going to select quads instead of triangles and I'm going to hit apply and there we go there's our extrude and you'll notice down here they create sub curve 1 and sub curve 2 um, in the channel box we're going to need to select sub curve 2 and the max to value option is the one that we're going to need and anything between 0 and 1 uh, creates our uh, extrude along the curve. Um, if you hold down, if you select, if you highlight the max value, hold down your control key, uh, middle mouse, left and right in the screen, that's what's going to give you that option to be able to scrub the extrude backwards and forwards in the UI. So let's go back to frame one. Uh, I'm going to right click, key selected at zero. And just for now, we're going to go forward just one frame. We're going to stick in the value of one, and we're going to right-click key selected. So, if we're scrubbing our timeline between one and two, we've got our extrude happening. So, back to one again. Let's just create a sphere, and this is going to be the head of our extrude. Hold down C to snap that to the curve. Also, let's scale it down a little bit. And I'm just going to freeze the transformations because it's good practice. So we'll select the sphere, we'll select the curve, and we're going to go um, animate motion paths, attach the motion path. We're going to make sure start time is 1 and end time is 2. I'm going to hit apply and close this window between 1 and 2. There we go. So they both match up. Okay, so between. Um, one and two, we've got uh, the extrude happening. So let's open the um, graph editor. So we've got animation editor, let's graph editor. And we're going to want to look at both the sphere and the extrude. And you can see that they're both sitting on top of each other currently. Like this. If we move one out of the way, we can see that. So we're just going to grab the ends of both both the end keyframes and drag them along. Let's get to about 40. Alright. So what we should see now is that they're both going to go along until 40. So we can see that the sphere gets there by 40 to the end of the curve and as does the uh, extrude but in between they're not matching up. Um, initially we could think that 
maybe it's just something to do with the uh, non-linear curve that we've got but if we do make this a linear curve it's still happening okay so one of the ways around this is to grab the sphere and just add some in-between <coughs> keyframes to the curve and tweak it on that but we're going to find that we're going to have to do that all the way along the curve at different points and it's going to look very odd so all I want to show you is that <coughs> we need to go into the attribute editor of the curve to the um, motion path and you can see in here there's lots of different options these are mainly for banking and uh, different effects for when the objects are, are turning around the curve um, but what we need to click is parametric length and as soon as we pick that you can see that this snaps to the front of our extrude and as if by magic when we scroll through it's following the very front of the extrusion constantly all of the way that's it guys that's all I want to show you hope that helps you um, quite a long time ago I was pulling my hair out trying to figure out how to do this I couldn't find anything online um, I just went in and played around and uh, found this little beauty so I just thought I'd share it that's all, cheers, take care, thanks a lot, bye bye